Hello YouTube, Ultra Maximus back with another top five list. This time I want to talk about, actually I want to bitch about, the top five bad Transformers spin-offs. Toys that are either a direct spin-off of the series, or the toy lines, or they're a third party, or just a variation of the original toy lines that were just bad. Bad, 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 bad. And while the GoBots are not on this list, I thought I'd include them here because, well, they're god-awful terrible and suck. And to quote the pickle fucker from Clerks 2, they're like the Kmart brand of Transformers. So let's take a look at the top five bad Transformers spinoffs, shall we? At number five, we've got Junkion Blacksmith's Headmasters. These are toys from this third-party company that I just don't get. Okay, these are kind of an interesting idea. And what they are, they're G1 Transformers that are created by Junkion Blacksmith. Uh, it's a third-party company. And, well, they transform into their standard modes. Not too bad, I guess. Looks okay. I mean, we can still see the robot there. I think Soundwave looks a little better than Optimus. But then we take it one step further. So they're kind of the triple changer, and this is what they turn into. They turn into heads. They're headmasters of themselves. Soundwave transforms into Soundwave's head. Optimus transforms into Optimus's head. I just and they actually fit on the headmasters there. They and they actually do make the little power grids on the original headmasters change. I mean they are headmasters. Interesting concept, but I mean the sound wave one just doesn't do it for me. He looks better as a boombox and it's still not all that great. The Optimus, uh, I don't know. Um, although he does have one decent uh, use, I think. It actually looks pretty decent on Power Master Prime, which is kind of cool. I think I like that head better than I do the regular Power Master Prime head, so okay, I'll give it props for that. But then they turn out some real crap. Look at Ultram Magnus. He looks wrong. It, for some reason, the the head doesn't look right. It doesn't look like Ultra Magnus to me. And the truck mode is terrible. It's just terrible. And he just, I don't know, he looks kind of stocky and weird in robot mode. I just fail. And then we have Blaster. Uh, it just doesn't look quite right. Again, like Soundwave, it looks better in Boombox mode. And then we get the head. There's something wrong about this head. It just doesn't look like Blaster to me. And it just, he's kind of like, hey. And then we get Megatron. He looks like he's taking a crap. What the hell is wrong with this thing? And his robot mode sucks. I, he just, I don't like this at all. It just looks like junk. And he's got these weird tread things on his shoulders. Why? Because he doesn't turn into a gun. He turns into a weird half head with the legs wrapped around thing. I think this is supposed to be like a missile launcher or something, which is not a bad idea for Megatron. It's just really shitty execution. All around, I'm going to say that this series of third-party toys. Interesting idea, just didn't come off quite right, guys. Again, the only one I really like is that Optimus Prime sitting on the Power Master Prime. Other than that, eh. All 
All right, number four on the list is Battle Beasts. Remember these guys? They were in an episode of Transformers Headmasters where they basically, the Autobots and Decepticons, taught these little animal robot things how to fight. And they made a toy line off of them. And here's the thing. They each had a little symbol, one for fire, one for wood, and one for water. It's rock, paper, scissors. Fire beats wood. Wood beats water. Water beats fire. Really? All right, so here are these stupid little toy things. I, I just, I don't get these things. They're kind of like robots with animal heads and legs and arms. Are they animal mutants wearing armor? Are they robots? I don't get it. And each one of them had a little reveal the shield sticker, the same exact design that they used for the Transformers, except instead of an Autobot or Decepticon logo, it was fire, wood, or water. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, Lord. And these sculpts and colors are horrible. I mean, I might be able to forgive the sculpt a little bit, considering when they came out. But the colors, I mean, it looks like... Oh, God, it looks like some clothes from the 70s puked on them. And there's no posability. They're kind of like, remember those horrible little muscle toys everybody used to collect? That's what these things remind me of. Boo. And, not if they were bad enough the first time around, Takara's bringing them back. Now, I will say their little head sculpts look better. Uh, they look, and the hamster's kind of funny. But, uh, you know, I think the bodies on these are worse than the original figures. It's like the original figures had different armor and better legs and arms, and they, I think they were more proportionate. These things don't look right in the body at all, and I don't think they have the cool little Reveal the Shield logo, which sucks. Maybe if you took the body sculpt off the other figure and put these head sculpts on there, you might come up with a halfway decent toy. Or just throw the crap away. Stop making these things. I hate you, Battle Beasts. Number three on the list is Mutant Beast Wars. This is at the end of the Beast Wars line, and I don't know who came up with this idea, but instead of having a robot turning into a beast and back and forth, it's a beast that turns into a different beast. But there's a robot head that you can peek out somewhere. Really? All in all, these figures are terrible. There are four of them. Uh, Soundwave was one, and it's just demeaning to use the name Soundwave on one of these pieces of shit. Their feet are too big. I mean, this he's supposed to be an alligator bat thing, and it just looks terrible. Well, talk about the little head peeking out. Here's Soundwave's head in the bat's mouth. He looks like a weird troll thing wearing a Halloween costume. Boo. And this thing, this guy, uh, Razor Claw. He was a dinosaur or a velociraptor that was green with white arms that turned into a wolverine. And if you notice on the picture, the wolverine's kind of brown. Well, the toy's not. It's a green wolverine. What the hell? And I think they screwed up the head on here because... His little head that peeks out looks like an insect. That doesn't make any sense. I think that should have been on uh, the other guy, Poison Bite. Uh, at least he was a scorpion. I mean, it's just, this toy is a piece of crap. I hate this toy. Now, here's one that wasn't too terribly bad. Uh, uh, what was his name? Icebird? But the polar bear sucks. He's got these big, goofy paws front paws and this weird thing on his chest and he looks more like a dog than a bear. The owl mode looks okay uh, but again it's just oh bad execution guys. 
again, this is an okay, this is one of the better ones, but the bear just looks goofy. He kind of looks like a hungry, hungry hippo. And the owl's okay, I guess. He, it's not too bad. He just kind of looks like almost like a kangaroo owl or something. I don't know. And, of course, you have your little robot head that has to pop out, so you're reminded, hey, remember, I am a robot somewhere. Now, this one is the only one I actually really kind of like, uh, Poison Bite. He's a scorpion and a barracuda. But again, his little robot head that peeks out, which I think comes out of the scorpion tail, I can't remember. Uh, it, it, it's, I don't know, this weird thing. It looks like it would be better suited for the Wolverine piece of crap and give this guy the insect head. I, I don't know. But he looks pretty decent as a scorpion. I like the colors and I like the design. And his Barracuda mode's not too bad. Uh, fish Transformers are always kind of odd to me, but, I mean, he looks pretty decent. I wish he turned into a robot. Just make him a triple changer. That would have been very, very cool. And you don't see these guys on the cartoon show. They were only in the toy line, and they make, I think, two appearances in Transformers Universe Comics and, um, I think, Beast Wars The Gathering. Uh, there are some kind of, uh, like refugee group or something that lives in a swamp and they're not maximals they're not autobots they're not decepticons they're not predacons they're mutants and they got their own symbol i i like the idea of giving them their own group even though they're crappy toys but what the hell is this it looks like some kind of science badge for a Boy Scout. Why did they use this symbol for the little spark pieces and make this their logo? It makes no sense to me. It's the science of combining the mutants together and genetically engineering. Is that what it's supposed to be? You know, somebody must have really liked this little uh, toy run because I, I've seen this before. Where have I seen this before? That's right, I've seen it on the Big Bang Theory. It's the little atom that floats around between cutscenes. That's it. I mean, really? Come on. Somebody obviously liked this uh, toy line as a kid because it somehow made it into the Big Bang Theory. I just, uh, it was such a lame symbol. Why couldn't they mix the Maximal and Predacon logos together instead of using the Boy Scout science badge. Failed. The number two spot goes to Creo Transformers. God, I hate these things. If you don't know what Creo is, it's like a rip-off of Legos. And I'm not a big Lego Toys fan, but they look better than these pieces of shit. I, God, I hate these things. I walk by them in the toy aisle, and I just shudder. Really? That's supposed to be Devastator? That sucks balls. Alright, so here's Optimus Prime. What the hell is wrong with Prime? He looks like he's bloated or something. I don't know what the deal with that thing is. The truck looks okay, I guess. And actually, the coolest thing about the Creos are the little figures that come with them. They're kind of like the little Lego guys. They're little Transformer guys. And those look pretty decent. A lot better than the crap that the trailer turns into. What is that? That just looks like a pile of nothing. All right, and here's Bumblebee. And I'm, supposed, I'm sure he's supposed to be some kind of stealth black version. But that robot is horrible. And why does he turn into a fucking pickup truck? I don't get it. And here's Jazz. Again, the robot is terrible. He's just a box with, like, weird legs and arms. And, again, he looks like he turns into a truck. I can't design a car. What's wrong with these people? At least Legos, you can actually build something that looks like a car, and not a car that looks like a truck. And here's, I'm guessing, is Megatron. Again, the little shockwave's pretty cool looking. I kind of like him, but 
eh, robot. I can't even, it doesn't even look like Megatron. It's it just really, really terrible. And here he is turning into a truck, but what the hell is wrong with the front end of it? What? I, I just, uh, these things are just so bad. So low budget version of Legos. Come on, Hasbro. Spend the licensing money and get the real Lego company to build these things. But wait, here's the awesome part. Because for some reason, people buy these pieces of crap. A third party company's making a knockoff version of them that looks even worse. Oh, God. Really? Really? Really. It really is happening. Fuck you, Creo. Look what you created. And the number one spot goes to the Animorphs. Transformers Animorphs is probably one of the worst ill-conceived toy lines ever produced by Hasbro. The Animorphs were a series of books that came out in the 90s. Um, they were humans that can turn into animals that they touch, and there were alien invaders, and there was a TV show that was so horrible. And Hasbro licensed the toy line, and they slapped the Transformers name brand on it. It was about the time that I think what Transmetals 2 came out and the Mutant Beasts and so those genius ideas I'm sure were behind this and they're like yeah we can do that we can have a, a kid transform into an animal uh, you remember how that worked out guys you get this kind of crap it's a Beast Wars toy that instead of robot parts has human parts on it. Huh. Now, in the books, they just went from human to animal. They morphed. They didn't transform. So, when they were in human mode, we didn't have animal kibble all over the place. The TV show was the same way. I think it had two seasons. Now, it didn't have Transformers on the TV show, but the toy line was, I think, based off of the TV show itself. They just slapped Transformers on it to try to sell the crap. The only thing good about the TV show is we get, eventually, the guy that plays Iceman in the X-Men movies. God, I bet he regrets doing this show. I mean, look at this thing. I mean, that's... Uh, it's, it, it, it's it's tarantulas with, like, a bodybuilder head on him. It just looks ridiculous. Just piece of crap. This stupid thing went from alien to alien. I mean, it really made no sense at all to me. <laughs> this was my favorite one. It's a combiner. Three different people merged to make a Tyrannosaurus Rex. The T-Rex looks okay, and it was kind of cool because it had light, er, had not lights and sounds, but it had sound effects, which was kind of cool. Problem was, when you broke it down into the three components, epic fail. Yeah, look at this guy. It, it just, oh, it looks like a really bad Beast Wars figure with a human head. He looks like he's in a costume, and somebody took the headpiece off, and he's like, Hey guys, wait for me. Boo. And here's another one. I think this was the tail piece. It just really, and this one I think is supposed to be a girl. It doesn't look like a girl. It just looks like crap. And the tail on the arm there, that thing is kind of offensive. It just looks a little dirty. Come on. Really? Ugh, Animorphs. You suck so bad. Terrible, terrible, terrible. I, I 
think I pushed them out of my memory. I forgot about them and came across them and like, oh my god, these things are bad. I remember these pieces of junk sitting on shelves at KB Toys. Just, oh, so awful. So there you have it, guys. The top five bad spinoffs from the Transformers. Some of them were kind of interesting. Some of them weren't bad ideas, just bad fails. But most of them are just god-awful bad. Ugh, hopefully we don't see these in the future. But we probably will. Good luck to us all. Thanks for watching, guys. Look for other videos. Check out my 100 sub contest. I'm giving away a free transformer and some other cool stuff. Subscribe, watch videos, add a video. Have a great weekend. Don't play too hard, and I'll catch up with you later.